Welcome back to Cryptolytics, giving a fresh take on crypto analytics. And this is going to be another video on Drift follow up for the last video on the bot trading. So let's just dive straight into it. So in the last video, I covered how you could set up a grid bot, if you will. Again, these aren't bots. It's a, it's a manual setup of the bot style platforms that say something like Pinex does and a lot of influencers are talking about. Now, this is just a follow-up because the way Pionex works is it isolates the capital. So if that particular bot is liquidated for some reason, it doesn't wreck your entire account. The way Drift works is it's a little different. So Drift is cross-collateral for everything. So it sums the collateral weights and everything together as a total margin value, essentially. And then you essentially are trading against that margin. So one thing you can do in Drift is you can set up what's called sub accounts. So if you want to set up a bot, then you can say, for example, if you want to isolate it, you can just add it to a sub account. The other thing as well is that you have a maximum number of 32, I believe, limit orders that you can have at any given time within your account. So if you want to do, say, 15 buy orders and 15 sell orders, that would be a 30 order grid bot. We'll just say grid bot. It's not a grid bot, but we'll just say it for all intensive purposes. Then you won't be able to really do more than 30. So I do realize that that is a limitation. And then the other thing as well is if you want to isolate your capital, then that's one thing to do. So one thing you can do here, pretty straightforward in Drift, is you can actually transfer funds from one sub account to another. So the way you do that is you just come up to the top here and then you click this box and it will bring down and show you some sub accounts. So I only have three in this account. This one here is where I'm going to borrow USDC from. Now, if you don't have USDC, but you have assets supplied, don't worry, you can just borrow against those because Drift also works as a lending and borrowing protocol. But I would say it's more capital efficient than probably most of the other lending and borrowing protocols out there because you've got higher collateral weights in a money market or a lending and borrowing protocol, they would call it loan to value. Whereas in Drift, because it is a perp DEX or Perpetuals Decentralized Exchange, it is termed collateral weight. And all these weights do adjust also in real time. Whereas generally with a lending and borrowing protocol, the collateral weights or the loan to value is generally static. It can be changed, but it doesn't change as frequently as say something like a perp DEX. So in this account, all I have is USDC and I'm going to transfer some of that to this other account. So we're just going to put in $200 from one account. We're going to put it in the other one. It's just called borrowing because I was using this as a money market fund or a lending and borrowing protocol at one stage, but I don't require that anymore. So we've transferred and I'm just going to rename this and I don't know, we'll just call this the say grid bot, for example, right? And then you essentially go through the same stuff that I mentioned in the last video. Let's just turn on auto confirm because I don't want to keep clicking buttons. I love auto confirm. I think it's great. We're just going to go here to this account. We've got our 200 US dollars earning 12% yield right now, which is great. We're going to go find say, for example, you can just on anything really. And we'll go 15 because again, 32 is our max. We'll just go 15 ascending again. Just watch the video from the other day where I talk about how you can essentially set this up in drift. So that way, if you're not sure what's going on here, then you'll know what I'm setting up here. So let's just do a quick setup. We'll go to range highs, we'll go to range lows. I think I'm actually going to bring it up here to about here. That's fine. It's not really the range, but I just want to show how this works. I'm going to copy price here. So just right click, click copy price. I'm going to start at the current price and then go down to the price here. So I'm just going to right click, or you can also double click on the line here, go to coordinates and copy it that way. If the line's in the way, or you can just move the line out of the way, copy price there, nice and quick. We're just going to set this. So this is by ascending. We're going to 15 and we're going to go 5X, I reckon. 5X. So that's $1,000 worth of orders. You can go up to 10X on this. I would not if I were you. Say here, I think if you have a look at the list, it does say you can go up to 10X. So that's cool. 
We're gonna go five. I would say most people will probably be better off doing three X or below, to be honest. Let's just go degen. I don't really care what happens to this account and I can always close it after the video anyway. But just keep in mind uh, your health factor and everything like that. Degen responsibly, as I like to say. And then we're just gonna go click buy and then that's gonna fill out our grid. Oh, and if you make a mistake, for example, I have set the buy price too high, then you can just go cancel all. That will clear any other orders you've got as well. So again, that's kind of cool because it's isolated or siloed within this, then it doesn't really matter if we make that mistake. We're going to come down the range lows just in case September is bearish, right? We don't know if September is going to be bearish, but hey, if seasonality is anything to go by, it probably will be. I'm going to click buy. Again, auto confirm. Beautiful. Just like that. And we're going to go here just a little bit above. And then we're going to put our scale sell order in here. So 15 ascending. Again, I already explained what ascending was in that other video. So again, check that video out if you have not done that so already. We're going to go from this price all the way up to the top. And I'll just get the coordinates that way. And then you can actually paste that in like so. We're going to click reduce only again. So I mentioned in the last video, if you don't click reduce only, if you only fill some of these and it goes up and it will start to open a short position once it's taken all of the profit from the long. So that's why you need to click reduce only. Again, very important to click this button because otherwise it'll start to open up a short if it doesn't open up this entire position. And then we're going to click Ascending again, that's fine, that's already done, and sell. So we've got 75% health factor, it's pretty good. And there you go. So there's our grid bot, essentially isolated in its own sub account. And what this means is if for some reason this account gets liquidated or wrecked, then you don't lose all of your capital. So there you go, just an update to that video. Hope you found this helpful. Give the video a like if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on X and leave a comment if you wish on this video, and I'll see you on the next one. This is Cryptolytics, signing out. Have a good one.